for uh, being interviewed, Bruce Batter, a missionary to South America, and you're going to be going to Colombia? I've been to Colombia and uh, Bolivia and Chile. Okay, I just got a few questions. How did you know that God was calling you into missionary service? Uh, by invitation of the Anaskets at Christmas of 2004, I was uh, invited to go down and uh, spend some time at Safe House, which is a home for uh, abused and abandoned uh, little girls. While I was there, on the morning of the seventh day, uh, I was awoke, uh, woken by the uh, waking up by the Spirit of God, and the Lord asked me, or He made a statement. He said, "This is my desire for your the rest of your life." And uh, so I thought about it, and I answered Him and said, "Yes, Lord." So the Lord spoke and asked me to come and spend the rest of my life in South America, ministering to the people there. How long was it when you first received your call until you actually went on the field? Well, I was there on the field, and then I went back. I was pastoring full-time at that uh, particular moment. Went back and retired from my uh, church after pastoring 34 years at the same church and uh, received my credentialing or my approval for my missionaries uh, licensing in May. And then I went back in October, October, November, and December, I spent back on the field. So it was uh, less than six months. What advice would you give someone preparing for missionary service? Make sure that it's the Lord and uh, not because someone has told you or because you got stirred by a, a missionary, but, uh, and, and God may use that, but then make sure that God, uh, that it's a God thing because you will confront many situations on this mission field, that if you are not sure it's not God, uh, you can be uh, quickly mind changed to leave. In hindsight, after you were on the field, what would you have done differently to prepare yourself for the mission field? Well, I, I don't know if I would have done anything differently myself, but as uh, I said, there's a season of my life. I'm 72 years old. I'd already had 34 years of the pastorate, so I, uh, I was used to working with people. The only thing that's different than in any country is the culture. But the Word of God is the same, and, and the Lord over all is the same. So as my preparation uh, probably wouldn't have been, I cannot see in hindsight that I would have done anything differently. Given your unique perspective as a missionary who's traveled abroad, what advice would you give the church in America? My advice to the church in America is that uh, get out of your comfortableness. Get uh, out of your four walls. Because there's mission work to be done in every neighborhood of the church. You don't have to go alone. Can you share an experience that's unique to the country that, that you minister in? Uh, probably we saw over a thousand come to know the Lord Jesus Christ in the, the nine weeks we were uh, recently at in South America. But probably one of the most profound was the last evening we were in Chile in Eureka. And uh, there was a little uh, gentleman who had been in a wheelchair for several years and probably in his mid-80s, and uh, we prayed for him and then left him. And we heard some shouting, turned around, and he had gotten up and walked out of the wheelchair, walking towards us. God is still a God of miracles today. He has not changed. Amen. And that just answered my last question here. Sure, a testimony of something that God did in your ministry that you would call a miracle. Yes. And Outside I, of the, the greatest to me, or, or the, the, the thousand who come to know the Lord Jesus Christ, that is the greatest miracles, I believe. I was a, a sinner being saved by grace, through the blood of Christ. But then seeing the manifestations of a person uh, being healed and liberated. We saw many, many liberated from demonic oppression, along with this little one little gentleman, and several eyes that were crossed, and and uh, many, many miracles, but uh, we, we need to realize that needs to become the norm for us, to realize that God is still working miracles. He has not changed, and He's not limited only by our belief.
Amen. Okay, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. That includes the minute the interview.